Hey everyone, my name's Amy Cooper and I'm part of the pastoral team here at Audacious Church. Uh, thanks for joining me today for a quick devotional. And I want to focus on a verse that I think is so important to live by um, and has a lot to say about our relationships and the company that we keep. Um, so today's verse is Proverbs 13 verse 20, which says, Walk with the wise and become wise, for a companion of fools suffers harm. I think this virtue is, is such a gem because it gets straight to the heart of how our friends and close relationships can shape us. I suppose it's like a gentle nudge from God reminding us um, that the people we hang out with can really influence our lives, um, either in a good way or a bad way. Um, so if we look at the first part, it says, walk with the wise and become wise. So when we think about this, wisdom isn't just necessarily about being clever. It's about making good godly choices um, and seeing life through God's eyes. And when we surround ourselves with wise people who love God, live out their faith and make thoughtful decisions, uh, we naturally start to pick up on their ways. Um, so their peace, their understanding, their love for God, that starts to rub off on us. Um, so I suppose my question to you is, who are, who are the wise people in your life? Maybe it's a friend who always seems to have a kind word or, or good advice. Maybe it's somebody who just quietly lives out their faith in their everyday actions. And spending time with these people can really help us, help us to grow um, in our own faith and, and wisdom. Um, so if we, if we look at the other part of that proverb um i think a good way of explaining this is um pastor glenn spoke at our youth conference fearless co last weekend um which was based on a book he wrote which was called if i was the devil and one of his points um was if i was a devil i would attempt to distract you i absolutely believe that one of these distractions can take the form of bad company um so looking at the second part it says a companion of fools suffers harm. So in the Bible, fools are often those who live recklessly, um, ignoring God's guidance and making decisions which don't necessarily align with his word um, and can lead to trouble and consequences. Um, but if we're closely connected to people who are making those poor choices, it can pull us in the wrong direction and lead to us being distracted from walking in alignment from God and all that he has for us. Um, so I think what this verse is trying to say is that God wants us to be discerning about our companions um, and the company that we keep. So seek out friends who lift you up. They challenge you to grow, keep you grounded in your faith. Um, when we walk with the wise, we not only become wise for ourselves, but we also become a positive influence for others who hopefully see us as an example for them to walk alongside. Um, and there's nothing wrong with having friends who aren't Christians, that like we're called to be the light in those friendship groups, um, but for um, allowing influence in our own life and allowing that to shape us, we need to be surrounded by people um, who who have wisdom. Um, so I hope that's encouraged you. Um, and yeah, let's pray. Um, Lord, thank you for the people that you've placed in our lives. Help us to choose our friends wisely and be a good friend to others. Give us the wisdom to surround ourselves with those who will help us grow closer to you and help us to be a light to those around us, reflecting your love and wisdom always. Um, in your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. So thanks for spending this time with me this morning. Um, I hope you have a great day and yeah, hope that God blesses you with wisdom in all of your relationships.